What was the theme of the earliest teachings of Jesus that brought hope to the region of Syria? The Joshua Fund founder and chairman, Joel C. Rosenberg, gives us a renewed prayer focus that the gospel of Jesus Christ would spread within this struggling country. And so Jesus begins to emerge once John the Baptist has been arrested and is no longer on the scene, Jesus steps forward at the directive of his father. And what is his message? What's the message that he begins to preach? It's the same message as John. Verse 17, from that time, Jesus began to preach and say, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So a lot of kingdom talk going on. People were starting to talk about the kingdom. And what happens is in verse 23, it says that Jesus was going throughout all Galilee. He was teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom. That was his message. He was teaching people the good news of what it would be like to be in the kingdom, to be part of the kingdom, the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven. People were drawn to this message. They wanted to be liberated from the kingdom of Rome, the empire of Rome. It was not just. It was not fair. It was not wise. It was evil. And people started thinking, oh, wow, this is exciting. The gospel of the kingdom, the good. Yeah, well, what's what's this kingdom going to be like? And Jesus began healing every kind of disease and every kind of sickness among the people. This gospel message was coming with power, the power to heal, the power to to, to liberate of our own personal pain and suffering. The news, verse 24, the news about him, about Jesus, Yeshua, spread throughout all of Syria. This This is my prayer today, that the good news of the kingdom, the kingdom of Christ, would spread throughout all Syria. Syria is imploding. Syria is melting down. We are watching the disintegration of a modern Arab Muslim state. 250,000 Syrians have been slaughtered. Genocidal conditions. More than, I think it's 11 million Syrians are on the run for their lives. Some have become refugees in neighboring countries. Some are just fleeing from the, the hellish civil war between the Assad government and ISIS and the Al-Qaeda factions and all the others, they're on the run, fleeing for their lives. And ISIS is saying these are, this is because they're building the caliphate, building the kingdom, but there's no good news related to it. People are being slaughtered. Muslims who don't believe in the apocalyptic vision that ISIS has, they're being slaughtered. Oh, how Syria needs to hear the good news of the kingdom, the kingdom of Christ, the the, the good news of salvation, of forgiveness, of hope, of eternal life. Not the prosperity gospel, not the idea that if you you as a Syrian come to Jesus and leave Islam, that you're going to get a Learjet and a Rolex. No, no. That you will go to heaven when you die, which your feeling is going to be soon. That you will be liberated from the trauma, the sadness, the horror, that you will have peace that passes all understanding, that you will have joy welling up from within you, that you will have wisdom from above, that you will have hope as an anchor for the soul. That's what the scriptures say is the gospel of the kingdom. Subscribe to our videos by clicking the subscribe button. You'll find some videos that we've chosen specifically for you. And if this is a ministry that you'd like to support financially, just make a tax-deductible donation by clicking here to visit our giving page. Thank you. We look forward to partnering with you to bless Israel and her neighbors in the name of Jesus.